I had it's the tiny one slash species. Now I'm super tired right now as of recording this video, but I'm about to get ready to go to work. Yet we are doing yet another that was a lot of yet. Oh my god. Uh we are doing yet another uh coffee taste test, or I should say specialty drink taste test. Uh, for the holidays, this one is going to be the eggnog latte head to head. Um, now, as you can see, this one is from Dutch Bros. Originally, I wanted it to be Pete's Coffee to be the first coffee that I try, but the Pete's Coffee near me does not have the eggnog latte. They have the option on their little computer screen, but I guess it's not the ingredients. So, that sucks. <laughs> Luckily, a manager caught that before my payment went through. And because we're doing hot drinks, my partial is going to be out. Uh, so, let's see. This is actually eggnog latte with caramel. So, that means when I do Starbucks, I'm going to have to put caramel on top of that latte, too. Super good. I always love when they have the eggnog going on. It kind of sucks that it's a seasonal thing, but I guess that makes it all the more special. But yeah, super, super good. Uh, I can't wait to try the Starbucks version and hopefully Pete's, but if not, then you'll just be getting a two coffee or two coffee pleasure review. Anyways, that's all for this bit. This one I would recommend. Actually, let me see what the caffeine index is for this one. I'm not finding it on the menu and I'm running out of time. So if I'm able to find the information later while I'm not so pressed for time, then I will insert that clip after this. But anyways, on to start. Hi, hi. It's... <laughs> I'm back. <sighs> I almost did my whole intro again. Uh, it looks like I'm wearing pajamas, but I'm wearing my hanging out there um, Halloween sweatshirt that I showed in a previous video. But I have finally, finally, finally acquired a Starbucks caramel lot. A lot eggnog latte with caramel and remember i told you that we would have to probably have caramel put in there because that's what dutch bros did now one of the things that the junk boy thought of is that maybe another um pete's coffee would be able to have the eggnog latte because as i already stated they had that on the menu they just didn't offer it well, we were at the mall earlier today. This is being filmed on um, November 30th. And they didn't have it. So we're just going to be reviewing the Dutch Bros version and then the Starbucks version. And I love how the cup says Merry Coffee. That why, that why. That way people can't get mad that it says Merry Christmas, that it says Happy Holidays, all that stuff. It has red, white, and green, which is holiday colors, and it says Merry Coffee. So if you get mad at Merry Coffee, just, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I really don't. All right, let's try. I keep wanting to just sip. Also, to let you know, this time I have also... Here's a little cup holder. I have refrained this time from tasting this. I'm adding extra words because I'm tired. Um, we just came back from uh, black post Black Friday shopping, so I'm extremely tired. And I work Thanksgiving, and I work Black Friday, but I was able to get. Um, the stuff that I wanted and I was able to find some stuff that I plan to make future purchases for. I just need to save up for it. Anyways, 
Let's try this. This is tough because Dutch Bros has a really good eggnog and this has a really good eggnog too. Also, ignore Panzer singing in the background. Um, this one I'm going to have to go with the tie because they both make their eggnog latte is really creamy and just really good and smooth going down. Um, I also was able to get my hands on some alcoholic eggnog, which I will be also be having tonight. And it's really good. I mean, I tasting that latte, uh, or not latte, tasting that eggnog, I get a bit of a cringe face because of the alcohol that I'm not used to, but it's still really good and it's followed by that smooth um a little bit of creamy eggnog taste that you know eggnog has so it's good i i can't complain very good so did you think that we were going to get a tie which one did you think was going to win the Dutch Bros or the Starbucks? Are you more of a Starbucks person? Or are you more of a Dutch Bro person? Are you more of a Pete's person and don't care that there's no eggnog latte at Pete's? Let me know in the comments below. Um, I'm even if I'm a little late sometimes, I do look at the comments and. I enjoy seeing when people comment and yeah, nice comments, of course, you know, the mean comments don't show up because who wants negativity on their channel? You know, it's worthless. Also, I love how this says, we wish you a merry coffee. I love it. And it encourages people to get the Starbucks awards. I'm a gold member still, so... I already get the rewards. Mm. And let's look at the website. So I always tend to get a vente, which is uh, 20 fluid ounces, according to the website. I wish my Starbucks sold the Trinta, I think it is, which is a size above vente, but no. Okay, so... If you are at all interested in the nutritional aspect of it, it's for Avente. It's got five, 590 calories. Calories and fat is 210. Uh, total fat is 23, uh, 23 grams. Uh, saturated fat is 14 grams. Trans fat is 1 gram. Cholesterol, 180 milligram, sodium, two, no, 320 milligrams, carbohydrates, 74 grams, dietary fiber, fiber, can't read, one gram, sugars, 68 grams, protein, 22 grams, caffeine, 120 milligrams. And this one, the ingredients are eggnog. And it varies by regional information available at your local store, milk, brewed espresso, and nutmeg. Now, it says allergens not available for this item, but it's got milk. So if you are sensitive to milk or you have an allergy to milk, then I would use your own discretion. I have a milk sensitivity. And I can't drink straight milk or like if it's chocolate milk, or of course not chocolate milk, but if it's like the strawberry powder in the milk, I can't drink the milk that way. But if it's in like coffee, excuse me, or mixed in with something else, depends on the degree of milk that's in it, I can tolerate it better. Um, it just depends. Uh, I might not be able to tolerate it as well as other days, but 
it's coffee, so I'm going to take my chance, because that's who I am. Just putting it out there, but, you know, for you, for everyone else, just be careful. So with the milk, it's the non-fat milk. It's steamed and foam. You get two shots of espresso, and it's nutmeg powder for the toppings. <clears throat> so yeah, also the description reads this uh, perennial, I don't know, P-E-R-E-N-N-I-A-L. Holiday favorite is made with rich steamed eggnog and our signature espresso topped with a dusting of ground nutmeg for the perfect finish. So that's what you get. And that is my, uh, look at the cats. <laughs> that is my review. I'm sorry I didn't get to review the Pete's, but hey, that's on Pete's. I could have bought a coffee from you guys, but oh well, that's okay. Uh, again, this is not a sponsorship. This is something I want to do for fun on my own, which since I'm still a very small YouTuber, I'm going to be doing this stuff when I'm able to, when I have the spare money. And I do enjoy little projects like this. So if there are any any of those legit people who are willing to sponsor smaller creators, then contact me. I greatly much appreciate it. Anyways, he is meowling. I should end this video. And there you have it. It's a tie. Okay. Anyways, that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. Nazar says bye. Stay safe. Stay happy. Don't say no to me. And I'll talk to you all later. Bye.